Can you balance a toothpick on a toothpick? Let's find out. It's really, really hard because I gotta try to find the center of mass of this toothpick. And no matter how many times I try this, it's just gonna continue to fall. That's because I have to find the center of gravity of this toothpick. And the center of gravity is very difficult for me to balance this toothpick on, on top of another toothpick. But let's try to make it even more difficult. Let's add some forks. I go ahead and press the forks together, really, really strong. And then I add the toothpick again. And when I add these forks to the toothpick, notice that I shift the point that the toothpick is balanced around. So I can take this salt shaker, I can add the toothpick to the salt shaker, and now I can try to get the toothpick to balance on top of the other toothpick. This is really difficult. Oh, yes! We did it! <laughs> Do you see this? It's bouncing right on the edge of the other toothpick. I've shifted the center of gravity of the fork and the toothpick just underneath the tip. They're balanced right on top of each other. And if I'm really, really lucky, I can even pick this up and move it. That's gonna be really difficult though. Let's see if I can make this work. It's working. Do you see this? This is amazing. Ah, but we can do it again and again and again and again. You can do this as many times as you want. Just ask your parents at home for some help when putting the forks together.